In this system.io tag tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically tag your contacts based on different actions. So depending on why you're using system.io, for example, if you're an affiliate marketer and you're not actually selling your own products or services, then you're going to use tags in a slightly different way to a system.io user who is selling their own products or services. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you both. Now in system.io, tags are really important because they're what you're going to use to identify your contacts and segment your audience based on their interests or their actions or both. For example, if your contact is a lead but hasn't purchased from you, or if they're a lead and has purchased product A but not product B, then you're going to want to know that information. And then based on that, you'll know how to follow up with them accordingly or to automatically put them into different email sequences and so on. Now, I don't know if you, like me, have had the experience of purchasing a product from someone, then you keep receiving emails from them trying to get you to purchase that same product that you've actually just purchased already like three days ago. Super annoying. And you don't want that to happen. So by using tags, you can make sure that that doesn't happen with you and your customers. Now, also, if you need to get a bit more complex with your automations and workflows and follow-up sequences, now, not everyone needs to, but if you do need to, then tags will be really helpful for you to set up those more complex workflows. So let's dive in. And first off, we're going to start off simple and I'm going to show you how to tag your new email subscribers when they opt in to join your list. So once we're in system.io, I'm going to show you this on a funnel I've got set up here, which is this one, which is a dog training funnel, a simple opt-in page that looks like this. And it basically offers people a free guide on puppy training in exchange for name and email address. So when a person opts in here on this form, I'm going to subscribe them to a particular email sequence. And then I'm also going to tag them with a puppy training tags. So then I know that all the contacts that sign up on this form are interested in puppy training. Now this is very useful, for example, if you're a dog trainer and you teach puppy training, but then you also teach guard dog training. So then this way you'll know which contacts are interested in puppy training, which ones are interested in guard dog training and so on. Or secondly, you might be an affiliate marketer who is in the dog training niche, but you might also be in the finance niche as well. So in that case, you want to tag all your contacts opt in here with the puppy training tag. So then when you come send your emails, you're not sending puppy training information to people who are interested in finance, for example. That would just be weird. So in order to set this up, I come back into system.io and you want to select whichever page in your funnel steps here has your opt-in form. So for example, this opt-in form here is on the squeeze page here. So I want to make sure the squeeze page is selected, come to automation rules, and then I need to click this button that says add rule. And now here, I'm going to select funnel step form subscribed, which means I'm going to subscribe them first of all to my puppy training automated email sequence that I already have set up under emails and campaigns. Now, if you don't know how to do that, then you can watch this video here that I'm showing on the screen right now. And that will show you step by step exactly how to set up automated email campaigns in system.io. And I've left a link in the description of this video to that video so it's easy for you to find it. Anyway, I'm assuming that you already have your email sequence set up. So now we need to come to these stops on the far right hand side and click on edit automation rule and then click on this new button that appears add action and now from add action we need to subscribe them to a campaign and now we have a drop down menu here where we can choose our campaign and we're going to select correct one in this case it's puppy training and now we need to add our tag but before that i've got to actually set up that tag so i'm going to save this rule to start with so this is just saved now i'm going to come to contacts and tags and now here i'm going to create a tag come to the top right hand corner it says create and now I'm going to create the puppy training tag and click save. And our tag now appears at the top of the list here. And I'm going to come back to our funnel and which is this one here, the dog training funnel. And now on the squeeze page under the automation rules, we've got this funnel step form subscribed that we've just set up. I'm now going to edit this automation rule to add a new action, which is to add a tag. And now we get a new drop down that appears here. And from the drop down menu, I can now find our new tag that I just set up. Now, if it doesn't appear in the list, like it's not right now, sometimes it takes a minute until it appears. So I'm just going to refresh the screen and try again. Automation rules, edit automation rule, add action and add a tag. And now it should be here. Here is our tag puppy training. And now I click save rule and that's it. So super simple. So now when people opt into your list, you'll see them here under contacts and under tags on the right hand side they'll be assigned the tag. So once they've opted in on that dog training opt-in form, you'll see the email subscribers address here. And on the right hand side, it will say the puppy training tag. Now, what about if you're selling your own products and you want to tag your customers based on or your contacts based on whether they're just a lead or if they've also purchased a product from you? So now let me show you how to do that. So for this, we're going to need a sales funnel. So I'm going to show you with this test sales funnel here. So in this sales funnel, we've got the squeeze page where they opt in. Then there's the order form where they can purchase the main product. Then there's an upsell product and a downsell product. On the order form, there's also an order bump as well. 
So it'd be really useful to know if people opt in here, so therefore they're a lead of this funnel, but they haven't actually purchased any products yet. So then later on, you can then follow up with them to encourage them to make a purchase of one of your other products. But alternatively, you also want to know if they've opted into this funnel, so you know they're a lead of this funnel and they've purchased like the main product, for example, but they didn't take the order bump or the upsell. So then knowing that, you'll then be able to follow up with them and encourage them to purchase the upsell, for example, but not try to sell them on the primary products. They have actually already purchased it. So first things first, let's go and set up our tags. So we need one to identify them as a lead. And then we also need one to identify them as purchasing the first product. And then another one to identify if they purchase the order bump that is on the order form. And then another tag if they choose the upsell and another tag if they choose the downsell. So let's go and set up our tags. So come to contacts and tags. So the first one we need to create, click on the create button and so you'd name it specific to what that product's about. So this is not actually a product I've got set up in this funnel. It's just a demo funnel. So I'm just going to call it products name lead. So this tag will just identify them as being a lead. Click on save. And now I'm going to set up the second tag for the primary product on this funnel. So I'm going to name it product name one and then the order bump, set up the tag for the order bump. So I'm just going to call it order bump, but you'd obviously name it whatever that product is called. And then the upsell, I'm just going to call it upsell just for speed. And then of course downsell. But just to be absolutely clear, you're going to name these whatever those products are actually called. So you know clearly once a customer makes the purchase, you'll see in your system account which subscribers have purchased which product. This is just for example to show you guys. So now the tags are set up. I come back to our funnel, which is this one here. And the first tag we need to set up is on the squeeze page when the person first opts in to identify them as a lead of this particular funnel and therefore they're interested in whatever products you're selling on this funnel. So with the squeeze page selected, that's where they'll opt in, select the automation rule and add action. We're going to subscribe them to a campaign, edit automation rule, add action and add our tag. So the first tag is this one, product, no, product name lead. So that's our first one, save rule. And now once anyone opts in, on this funnel, they'll be automatically tagged as a lead of this particular funnel. So from here, if they do go to the order form, they don't make a purchase. They have been tagged with this first tag here, product name lead, but they haven't been tagged with any of these others as well. So therefore, if they've only been tagged with this tag only, then you know they're just a lead and they haven't made a purchase yet. So now back to our funnel. What if they do make a purchase? We need to know which products they've purchased in this funnel. So now we're on the order form page which is the page that will sell your primary product and also your order bump. So under step configuration for the order form, as we scroll down to this section here, you first need to choose if it's a digital or physical product. I'm just gonna go with digital product. And then here is where you add the resources for that product to be automatically delivered to your customer once they make a purchase. If you don't know how to do this, if you don't know how to set this up, automatic product delivery upon purchase, then you can watch this video that's on my channel. I'm showing it on the screen right now. And I'm also gonna leave the link to that video in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it and that'll show you exactly how to set up your products for automatic product delivery upon purchase. So that being said, once that's set up, we then need to add a tag. So from the resources drop down, we can select tag and now we have a new drop down where we can choose the correct tag, which is product name one for this particular funnel. So of course, it'll be the name of the products you actually set it. Click save and now once the customer makes their purchase, they are then also tagged with product name one. So then they'll have both tags. So then at this point, if they only purchase the first main product, they don't take the order bump or the upsell. In that case, they'll be then tagged with these two tags, product name lead and product name one. So now let me show you how to set up the order bump tag, the upsell and the downsell. Let's go back to our funnel and we're still on the order form to set up the order bump because the order bump, if I show you on the funnel step, the order bump appears on the order form as an extra product the person can also purchase together with the primary product on the order form. So just to recap, we're still on the order form and we're still under step configuration and we've already set up the first tag that's related to the, the primary product that's being sold on this page. And now I need to add the order bump. So at the bottom here, click on add order bump and now select if it's a physical or a digital product. And again, go with digital product. And then here under resources, we click on the plus button. And now here is where we can set up automatic product delivery of the order bump, as well as the pricing for the order bump and so on. Now, if, again, if you don't know how to set up order bumps, then I've got another video tutorial that will show you exactly how to set up your order bump. I'm showing that video on the screen right now. And again, the link for this video is in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find it. But in order to set up the tag, what we need to do is select tags from the resources and now from the drop down. Now we choose our next tag which is the order bump tag. Click save. 
And again, you're not going to call it order bump for the tag. You're going to call it whatever the name of your order bump is. So just want to make that really clear. So now that's all set up. So if the customer purchases product one and the order bump, they'll be tagged with both these tags. And now for the upsell. So again, on the upsell page under step configuration, scroll down to the bottom and choose physical digital product. And then under resources, click the plus button. And again, we're going to select our tag. And from the drop down, the tag we're going to choose is, uh, of course, the correct one for this product, whatever you've named it. I've named it upsell. Click save and then last step, the same for the downsell. On the downsell page, this of course is where we're selling the downsell. So make sure you come to step configuration here, choose physical or digital product, and then under resources, selected tag, and then under the tag drop down, choose the correct tag and click save. Now all the tags are set up, dependent on which products your customer purchases, they'll also have that tag next to their email address. So for example, if they opted in, they'll have the product name lead tag, and then if they've also purchase the first product they'll additionally have a second tag which will be the name of that product and if they've purchased the order bump they'll also have that order bump tag as well so they'll therefore have three tags next to their email address and if they do take the upsell they'll also have the upsell tag as well so therefore they'll have four tags next to their email address but if they don't take the downsell for example because that downsell tag is not assigned to their email address, you'll know that they have not yet purchased that product. So under contacts, when you see your subscribers here, as you can see, this contact here has two tags next to their name. So basically dependent on their actions, i.e. where they've opted in and which products they've purchased, they'll start to have more than one tag assigned to them. So now your tags are set up based on which products they've purchased from you or which ones they haven't purchased from you, as it might be. Wouldn't it be great if depending on what they have or haven't purchased, they're put into different automated email sequences to encourage them to make more purchases. So for example, if they've opted in and they're a lead, they haven't purchased any products at all from you yet, they're put onto one particular email sequence where you'd pitch them on your products again or other products you might have. And then let's say after a week or two, they do actually purchase one of those products in your funnel. At that point, you don't want to then keep sending them emails about that same product because they've already purchased it. So would it be great if you can then automatically, once they purchase, they're shifted to a different email sequence where they're pitched on your other products, but not the product they've already purchased. So let me show you how to set that up. So first of all, back in our funnel here, this is the same funnel we've just been working on. Now I'm back on the squeeze page. Now when I set up the automation rule on the squeeze page to add that first tag, which is the lead tag, which is basically when they first opt into the funnel, but they haven't actually purchased a product. So in that case, they're a lead. Now you might've noticed when I set up this automation rule, if I edit the automation rule, I only added the tag, but I did not subscribe them to a campaign at this step under automation rules here, like I did at the beginning of the video, and I showed you how to add a tag if you're collecting leads. Now, the reason I haven't done it for this sales funnel where we're selling our own products is because we're gonna subscribe them to a campaign once they opt in, under workflows. So we come to workflows and now I'm going to click on the button to create my workflow and I'm going to name my workflow, dummy workflow, because it's just an example, click on save. And now the workflow is the top of the list here. Click on your workflow. And now here, system.io gives us the ability to create a trigger. So if I click on this little plus button at the bottom here, and the options we have are action, decision, or delay. I'm going to choose an action. So the action I'm going to choose is apply a tag. So the tag I'm going to choose is that very first tag in our funnel, product name lead. So once the person opts in to that squeeze page, as you saw, they're automatically now applied this product name lead. So I've, we've already set that up previously in the step configuration of the funnel. So now in this workflow, what I'm saying here is, so when this tag is applied, what's going to happen? So what's going to happen is whatever I choose to set up next, when I click this plus button here, so the action will be subscribe them to a campaign. So which campaign? They're going to go to whichever campaign it is that you want them to go to if they opt in, but they don't purchase any products from you at all. So let's just for the sake of this demo, say that that's what this first campaign here is about. Click on create. So now with this workflow set up currently as it is, if I leave it like this, once a person opts in to that funnel, they apply that tag and then this workflow kicks in. Now this workflow will recognize that customer or that new subscriber has been added to that tag and now automatically will subscribe them to this campaign. Now let's say over a week or two as they've received the follow-up emails from you via this campaign, let's say they do actually go ahead and purchase that first product, product number one. So in that case, the action is going to be apply a tag. So once they purchase that product, they'll be applied with that 
tag associated with the first product purchase. Click here, click create. So now the workflow wants to know, so what happens once this tag is applied? In that case, the action is they are unsubscribed, unsubscribed from the first campaign. And then there is a new action, which is to subscribe them to a different campaign. And this second campaign Let's just say this is a campaign that does pitch your other products to them that of course would be of interest to them, but not that first product they've just purchased because they've already purchased it. So you don't want to keep them in a same automated email sequence that is continuing to tell them about that product and how great it is and they should purchase it if they've already purchased it. So we shift them over then to this new campaign, click on create and so on. And then you can continue to add to your workflow, editing the different steps, just stuff showing you as much as you need to. Once you're happy with your workflow, come over to the top right and click on exit. And now you'll notice here that the workflow status is inactive. So just come over to the right sidebar here and select activate, hit confirm. And now you'll see there's a green tick next to this workflow. And now this workflow is activated and actually working. So they're the main ways you're going to be using tags in system.io. And as you can see, they're super useful. So if you're currently using the free plan of system.io, then unfortunately you can only use one tag on the free plan. So if you've already made a decision to keep using a system, which in my opinion is a good decision, it's a great tool, then instead of paying full price like everybody else, I have a unique link that will get you 40% off the startup plan. And that link is in the description below this video. Now full disclaimer, that is my affiliate link. So if you use it, then I will get a thank you commission from system, but that's at no extra cost to you and you'll get your 40% off. Now, if you got value out of this video, then please do like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot, and I really appreciate it. And if you need more help with System.io, then I've got lots of System.io step-by-step -step tutorials and guides on my channel. You can see my System.io playlist here.